today. I told y'all it was gonna be some graphic stuff going on. It's gonna be kind of, you know. Hey, hey, bookies. It's your girl Kiki Culture, and I'm back here with another stripper chronicle. Stripper. So we got a. I say that all the time, but we do. It be some real juicy stories I got for y'all. So, so. Just a FYI in there, just kind of be prepared. Anyway, let's jump right into the story. So, just be prepared. Okay. So, the first one is about when customer smelled my feet. Um, yeah. So, boom, this is how it happened, right? Um, it was kind of like, I want to say, so my shift, I work night shift, so I started around 7 and then, and then went all the way till 2 o'clock. So my shift was from 7 to 2. And I had been there, it was probably like 10 o'clock. So I already been on stage a couple times, I did a couple dances, so my feet weren't like particularly clean. You know what I'm saying? I mean, they, you know, I mean, I've been working, they're kind of sweating and stuff. So, just to put, put that in your mind. So, I see this guy. He sees me. He's like, oh my gosh, I like your feet. Your feet are so pretty. And I was like, thank you. And just kind of, we started to have a conversation. And then I brought it to the point of asking, like, did he want to dance? And he said, yeah. I was like, okay, cool. So, I went to the corner. Or, like, to the little area where we did our dances. And, um... He was like, just kept looking at my feet. And he was like, can I see them? Like, can you take them out the shoe? And I was like, Sh sure, I, I guess. Like, yeah, why not? I mean, because my feet were done. They just, you know, I've been working, so they were kind of sweaty. And so I took them out. And as I pulled my foot out of the shoe, he grabbed my foot and was like... Why? Just why? At least warn me like my big toe was like up in it. Like come, like come on. You could have warned me. Like I said, you could have asked my permission. Like it was a violation. And my feet were sweaty. I mean, like I've been working. Like they've been in the shoe. Like <sighs> yeah. So, anyways, ciao. So that's the first story. Let's move on to the next one, shall we? Oh, okay, so this one was earlier in the night. Again, my shift, my, my shift, my shift is from seven to two, seven p.m. to two a.m. So as soon as I walk in, I see quite a few girls at one table with this Caucasian man. So I walk in, I see a bunch of girls at the table. So I'm already peeping the scene, like, okay, trying to see what's going on. I go in, get dressed, and one of my homegirls was like, I want you to come to my um, homeboy's table. And I'm like, okay, cool. Um, I go out there with her, and basically, as we're walking over there, she tells me that he want, he's going to want um, a shot of pee that he's going to drink. Ew. And I was like, did you say like like pee like like my urine? Like you want me to like pee in a cup kind of thing? And she was like, yeah. And I was like, okay. So I go over there, introduce myself. You know, he ends up, you know, let let me know that that's what he wants. He wants me to go do all that, come back, bring him the shot of pee. Mind you, he had he did tell me it was gonna be twenty dollars a shot. So every time I gave him the amount that he wanted in the shot glass, then he would give me $20. Watching him drink that, again, look, I can't watch people give birth either. I feel like I'm gonna pass out. Like I can't just, I can't watch that. I also can't watch a man drink my piss like that. Just, <laughs> I, I, no. Is it good? I don't even know what to say after that. Like, I don't know what else to say. 
just thank you and so yeah on to the next one i don't know if this is worse but it's definitely fits right on in line with the the thing we've got going today my customer smelled my ass don't ask me why he wanted to do that i don't i don't know refer to the first part of this video when they were smelling feet so yeah at this time i have been at work since seven o'clock it was probably 12 because we was getting lit i mean we was turned up money was flying drinks was flowing i mean it was a good time had by all do you hear me he grabbed you know grabbed my ass and was can i smell it okay okay you gotta smell it and then well he kind of like squeezed it so at first he just smelled it then he like squeezed it up on his nose it was giving a lot of it was doing a lot he pulls out some things uh ooh, i don't know if i can say this on youtube he had some white girl that he um made a home across butt cheeks and decided to um inhale them through his nasal cavity in order to create a euphoric feeling in a party atmosphere oh i think i did a good job on that if y'all like that y'all hate me but that was good anywho but yeah he did it with a hundred dollar bill too and i was like oh, okay then he did it and then gave it to me i didn't know if i should wipe it off or not but again i was lit so it was giving i don't care it was giving i can wipe it off later it's giving we don't know where any of this money came from and i'm still gonna take it to the bank tomorrow you know so yeah those are my crazy stories today i told y'all it was gonna be some graphic stuff going on it's gonna be kind of you know it's it's yeah but uh um, those are my three stories i mean which one do y'all think was like the worst are there any of them that you would not have done think about it okay so um anyways until next time thank you so much for stopping by please